Somewhere in the minuscule world of spiders. Hello, buddy. I guess there's more than you, though. Okay, I guess we've just fallen down. This guy might have pushed us, potentially. Okay. So what is up, bosses? It's your boy, Boss Fat Wad, and welcome to an incredibly unique horror game called The Rift. As you just saw, ladies and gentlemen, that isn't just the cutscene with a spider, here we go. This is a game that you actually play as a freaking spider. You lost your friend. You have to find him. I apologize, I couldn't read the rest. Use WSD to move and mouse and look. Spacebar to jump, shift to sprint, did I say, I believe? Okay, this actually controls really freaking well. Important. Run to do long jump, stay in the light. Okay, then. Run to do long jumps and then just normally... Okay, it seems like my running's exactly the same even if I don't run, though. Or jumping exactly the same even if I don't run. Do I run and jump that? No, I am dead. Freaking great start. But yes, this, ladies and gentlemen, I died. You died. Of course I freaking did. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a horror game where you play as a spider. And I don't think I've ever freaking seen this. Actually, I can read this properly. To find him, descend into the darkness. Okay. And then space to jump, left shift to run. Okay. And then we have one more bit after that, right? Jump over that bit. There we go. Stay in the light. Don't fall down. Okay. How was I meant to do this bit then? I guess... Run and then... There we go. Okay. Fair enough. I guess like the more you run, the longer you jump maybe? Or the further you jump, should I say? Where do I go from here? Or oh, here? Over this platform here. Okay, so this is quite a short game. This should really be in the three random games. But because it's this freaking unique, I really wanted it as its own video. And as I haven't actually had, pretty much like for about one and a half weeks, apart from a horror game that I very recently played that was probably on the channel very recently since this video, I actually wanted this to be just a one-off horror game. Can I? No. Okay, this is actually quite difficult then. How do I time these jumps better? I guess it is just the longer you run... The further you can jump. That's what I was trying to freaking say before. There we go. So if I hold the button, maybe, do I jump longer or further? Why do I keep wanting to say longer rather than further? What is my freaking brain doing? Okay. So it's down here now, right? There we go. Perfect. So this is a black and white spider game. I saw that as well. This is completely freaking black and white, all of this. This is a, a baseball, I guess. Oh, I can't jump that. Okay, I don't want to freaking break the game. Once again, I really freaking hope this is a demo. I would absolutely love... A full game like this. That's why I kept this for its own video. In the hopes that maybe one day we can see a full game like this. This and that game that I played as like that that molted heart, right? Like the game that I was just rolling around as that heart. That was in a three random games and then the three random games revisited. If you can find that video, it's the either like the first I played Ghost of Tomorrow. That game that I can't remember and then another game, obviously, to make the freaking three in the three random games. I can't remember what that game was called, though. That game and this game are very similar in that you play as just these obscure creatures. This game we're playing as a spider, and that game you play as, like, a molded part, as I said before. Okay, where do I go after this? We see a beam of light there. Oh, God, I nearly freaking fell down then. Can I come back up here, maybe? I kind of fell down in the hopes it was going to be somewhere there. Oh, these are skulls. Never mind. Jesus Christ, Okay. This is insane. Why is there a massive skull? I mean, that's not really a massive skull, right? That's a human skull, I guess. It's just it's massive compared to me. Okay, so there's a platform up there. And then, actually, is there a platform further down here? Can I go here and then continue down? I can, maybe. Can I go here? I can. I can continue down this way. Another freaking skull there. So that is not a freaking... Baseball, I guess. That is definitely just all skulls. Yes. I assume that's human skulls or maybe a giant freaking spider. Maybe a freaking 10 times scale or 100 million times scale daddy long nose to be exactly more freaking exact. Exactly more exact. That's the first time I've said that sentence in that freaking order of words right there. Oh, I'm, I'm literally directly in the freaking mouth. That is not a human skull. Okay. 
Not sure what animal that freaking is. Right, I'm doing very good at freaking spider parkour. If Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales taught me anything, I am very good at now parkouring as a spider. Here we go, another cutscene. I love how this already has cutscenes. That's amazing. We're playing again. Spiders can see in the dark. Yes, they can. That's terrifying. Now be very careful. Okay, can I jump off and maybe actually read that? Spiders can see in the dark. Now be very careful where you put your paws. Keep searching. I don't think spiders have paws, to be honest, mate. Okay, we can see in the dark. Which is very good. I guess this is completely freaking pitch black here, then. There's going to be rubble coming down to, I guess, literally just freaking crush me. I am that small that just about any freaking thing can at least very much so hurt me. Is this my cobweb? No. Oh, I can actually jump through it, maybe? Okay, no, never mind. I'm not sure what that is. That's a cage, potentially. I mean, all of this is just constant cage. It's around here, right? That's why they said watch your step right now. There is going to be rubble coming down. And there's also going to be very freaking small gaps. I just about freaking fit through that gap right there. Okay, so that's that rubble again. Where is that gap? I can see that gap there, actually. I think it was about this gap here, right? Oh, no, that, this gap here that I fell down last. Yeah, right after the cage. Okay. So I guess I just continuously make my way over here or continue to make my way over this way. That's a gap there. So anything that's just pitch black on the floor is 100% going to be a gap right now. Okay. I seem to not be able to... Actually, is this a gap here? Can I go through here? Here we go. Please, for the love of freaking gods, don't make a massive ass spider come out of somewhere. That is not something I want to see in my freaking Wednesday afternoon. It's nine o'clock just now, so the today's video actually just went out. Okay. I didn't actually realize it was that freaking time. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. I thought that was just... Oh, A and... So pressing A and D do that, and then moving the mouse actually fully moves the spider around. That's cool. I mean, exactly what you'd expect. With the WSD like keyboard and mouse controls. I wonder how this would control with the controller. I might actually try that after this. That'd be cool to see. I like when they put in the effort to actually make a controller support because you're playing on PC, so it's usually people would use keyboard and mouse. But if they don't want to use keyboard and mouse and don't have a freaking console or like anything, I mean, obviously, this is only on PC on itch.io right now. It's free, by the way, so please check out on itch.io. Obviously, the link will be in the freaking description as always. But yeah, I like it when they actually put in controller support does that tiny little bit of effort or that tiny little bit more effort should i say definitely a lot of effort put in originally to actually allow people that play on uh, the use controller to play to actually be able to play it and can i do this first try let's just wing this just go full freaking speed there we go perfect i wondered where i was gonna go then we have a third cutscene the third cutscene in 10 minutes very nice Okay, here we go. Seems like maybe getting to the end of this now. So we're going further into this. Are we trying to escape then, maybe? Or are we just trying to find our parents? Maybe we're a kid spider? I don't know what they're freaking called. What, what are they called? Freaking... Oh, God. I remember it's Skylanders. Freaking Spiderling. Is it Spiderling? We're a Spiderling, right? I mean, we don't freaking look like a Spiderling, but compared to... Some freaking Australian spiders, we definitely are. We potentially are a spiderling, and we got bullied into falling down this pier, potentially. I can't fit through there. Not small enough to fit through that freaking gap, apparently. Okay, definitely are going this way, though, because I went through that gap. I don't like that sound. Oh, Jesus Christ. Find a way out and escape from the spider beast. Try to climb on pillars. Oh, these? It says climb on pillars. Can I climb? That seems like something I cannot freaking do. Okay, that guy's there. I'm fine. Oh, wait. Pillar's here. Perfect. And then jump over you. Okay, I'm fine. Not this way. Don't want to be freaking messing these jumps right now. These are very key jumps to actually make. Then over here. Oh, no. I failed. Can I jump back up here? Oh, I actually can. Oh, no. So I can jump. Actually, okay. So that's one... If you fail, I guess that's just not the way to go. If you fail the jump, then I guess you can use that to climb back down safely, maybe? So if he's there, then you just go gradually down. So it's not that way. It's not that way. It's going to be... I did see this. 
I just want to check the other way first. Okay. It's definitely over this way. And then, my God, we got a lot of freaking parkour here. Jesus Christ right now. Very pitch black. This game is completely freaking pitch black. All we've got is this spider's freaking... I guess seeing the dark vision, what is it called? Night vision? Seeing the dark vision, also known as night vision, the freaking thing that normal people call it. We can also see that this whole area, or well, this whole freaking land right here for spiders, I guess for us it would be something that we could just freaking step over, right? This whole thing is just bones, right? Or like, I guess, stones and bones. That is all of it. And some chains. And this spider. Hello, mate. Oh, I can't jump on you. I tried to freaking jump on you. Another cutscene. Oh no. He's dead. But just that spider. It's looks so freaking real. So they're all white. And we're black. And this guy has got about five eyes. I'm pretty sure actually, yeah, spiders do have about that amount of eyes, right? Find something to beat the spider beast before it's too late. There is an actual full freaking boss fight to this. That is amazing. Holy crap, this game is genuinely freaking legendary. I really like this. What we got here? Okay. I am so invested with this. I don't want this to freaking end. You must kill the beast before it's too late. Be fast to avoid the attacks. Use E to attack and coordinate your movements. The only thing I'd say is if you're doing a video or something and that test goes away, then you have to die and read it again. That is literally the only thing I would say that's bad about this. How do I attack this guy? Oh, there. Like that. Attack him when he's about to attack me? Like that? Oh, I died. Okay, let me actually read what this says. I was just freaking saying the one thing I don't like is that the text goes away too quickly. That text didn't go away too quickly. Use E to attack and coordinate your movements. So I was attacking him. I just wasn't doing it at a good time. Oh, that did attack him. Maybe just as he's attacking me. So there? There we go. So I just need to get constant counter-attacks. You're about to attack me. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's actually relatively easy then. There we go. That's four. Or is that actually attacking him? I don't know if that's actually doing damage on him or not. There. That was five, but he actually attacked me then somehow. I didn't see how I actually got attacked then. I'm not too sure what that was. Oh, I'm pretty sure that is actually him dodging me, right? Oh, no, that does seem like it's hurting him. Yeah, that does seem like he's not dodging that. He's definitely getting hit by that. He is definitely getting hit by them, them attacks. Okay, so that's number six. I was one away. That second attempt, I hit him five times. I needed to hit him six. I believe that was six anyway. Yeah, because five was the second time. That was one more. So I just got hit on the second to last hit right there. Okay, so this is our friend. This is someone that's actually fallen down here as well. well. That's really sad. I don't like spiders just in real life. I mean, I'm not afraid of them. It's just they're a bit annoying when they're there. But the game so good. It's genuinely made me feel sorry for that freaking spider. Oh, that's so good. Stefano Tagnani, potentially, or Tagnani. However you pronounce your name, mate. You're an absolute freaking legend. This game was incredible. That's 15 minutes on the dot now. That game was absolutely freaking legendary. And I guess I'll leave you with this awesome soundtrack. So that, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, Epic Games? Is that an Epic Games, maybe? I know that's talking about soundtrack. That, ladies and gentlemen, ends an amazing game called The Rift. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you watch it up yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe for our brand new Esprit Boy Boss Fab one. Thanks for watching, of course, as always. Peace.